welcome to a new video in my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about rematch again yeah i know i did a video a couple of weeks ago talking about it but it was in spanish and some non-spanish speakers has asked me if i can do it in english so i think it's kind of interesting to do it in english so that everybody can understand what rematch is about and how it is like to be to be in rematch by the way this video is going to be a lot more straightforward to the point of rematch i'm not going to tell so many things about my experience so if you really want to know the basic things you need to know if you go to rematch just keep on watching okay so as you know when you come to the united states you do a match with a family so that means that you are going to go to the family to take care of the kids what happens maybe uh, from your part or from the host family part that match doesn't work that is when you ask for a rematch that means you are going to change your host family either the family or the opera can ask for a rematch finally this rematch is finalized both of them are going to find a new opera and a new host family the first thing you need to do if you want to go on rematch is talk with your artist director tell her which are your problems why you're not happy with your host family what things would you like to change and she's going to give you the real perspective so she's going to tell you if your problem is as bad as to go on rematch or if you should try to talk with your host family and see if things work better once you change some little things so if after this talk um, you try to fix every single problem that you have with your host family you talk with them um, to try to walk through the problems and if after doing that it doesn't work, then is the real time when you need to ask for a rematch. What if the host family asks for a rematch? Usually when they are not happy with their opera, they will ask for, um, for a rematch. So this time the family is going to be the one telling you, um, we are sorry, we don't want to continue with you. We think you are not, we are not the, um, the best match possible, so we want to go on rematch. Once any of the two parties has decided to go on rematch, it's time for the exit interview. The exit interview is uh, an interview that you do with your other director. So your other director would come to your house or to your host family's house and you would have um, a talk about what has happened, why you want to break the match, what hasn't worked. She's going to write everything down because she needs to forward it to the, to the agency. And once you have talked, you need to give at least two reasons of why you don't want to continue with your host family if you are the one asking for the rematch. And after talking through it, the contract is going to end and you're going to start searching for a new host family. Okay, so what happens now? There are two options. The first option is to stay with your host family for two weeks. That is the time they give you to find a new host family. If you don't find a family in these two weeks, you need to pay your own flight to go back home. So if you stay with your host family, everything is going to continue the same way. You're gonna work, you're gonna be paid, and basically you're going to have two normal, regular um, working weeks, plus you're going to be interviewing new families. However, if your family or you yourself choose that you don't want to be anymore in that house, you will go to your other director's house or if you have any kind of opera friends that would want to take you in their house, you can do that too. If you go to your other director's house, you need to pay around $35 a night. If you decide to go yourself, you will have to pay it yourself, but usually other directors are kind of nice and they don't make you pay for it. However, if the family chooses that you need to go, they would have to pay those $35. So usually, if um, the situation between you and your host family is not good, um, the other director is kind of going to try to make them not want you in the house so that they can pay those $35 and you don't need to pay anything. So how does the rematch work? You have two weeks to find a new host family. If you don't find a host family in those two weeks, you need to pay your own flight back home. Don't worry because usually people find their right family in two weeks. It's kind of a strange uh, not to find a family, but it always depends on the reason why you are in rematch, on how positive you look, I don't know. It's the same as in the interviews in the start. The more you involve in it, the easier you are going to find a new host family. My advice for the interviews would be always telling the truth. Don't tell too much. When they ask you about why you broke the match, don't tell every single detail of what happened. Try to kind of um, give in the overview of what happened and always put it a little bit in your favor, but don't lie. Don't tell lies because they are going to call your host family or they are going to call your other director and they are going to know the truth. So lying doesn't work. Try to be honest, but don't tell too much. And try to be positive, try to tell them how much you want to stay, how much, uh, how happy you are finding a new host family that is going to be your right match, um, how excited you are that you can go and explore a new, a new place with a family that is going to really value you and you know, stuff like that. Another tip that I will give you is writing down every single thing that you want to find in your new host family. Usually when you start interviewing and you, you know, you feel these emotions of oh my goodness I'm finding a new host family, you are so excited that you don't really think of what you're looking in a family, so that's why I think at least we make the wrong choices. So yeah, I would really recommend you taking a notebook and writing down 
which are the things that you really want in your host family which things you need to be happy so if you really need your weekends off okay right I want my weekends off or I want only two kids I don't want more than two kids um, I want to be uh, close to a big city, but don't be too specific out because it's going to be really difficult. But kind of try to see um, what things you need. For example, a car. Like you can, you can kind of think, okay, I need to live in a big city without a car, or I need to live a little more in the outside, but I need to have a car to use all the time so that I can have social life, stuff like that. So make a list and then. Um, try to find a family who kind of fits in that list. You're not going to find the perfect host family that fits with all of them because it's, I would say, impossible to find one that is exactly what you want. Because even if you think you find that family, I'm sure that when you go and meet them, they are not going to be as perfect as you think they are. So make the list, try to find a host family that is the best fit for you and think twice. What are the things that make you go in rematch? Not to be in a family that has the same kind of um, the same kind of personality or the same kind of needs as your host family so that you know you don't make the same mistake again another thing that I would like to tell you is that um, at least with Oper care when you're in rematch you can only have two families in your Oper room so if you have two families that you know for sure you don't want to match with them call your area director and tell her please to take them out of your profile so that another two new host families can go in there and talk with you so don't lose time and don't wait for them to go because um, you're gonna lose time and rematch is only two weeks so please don't lose time call your area director and tell her please I don't want these two families in my profile I want to look for new ones however I would really recommend giving every single family a chance at least talk with them once Skype once or at least send emails and see how their life is more or less because even if that family doesn't look as good as the family you're looking for um, they might be your right fit so for example for me I was never looking to go to a family with four kids but they are my perfect family they are my right family and if I wouldn't have give them a chance to talk with me I would have never been here so please give every family a chance to talk with you talk with everybody and be positive and try hard you have two weeks two weeks to continue with your dreams so you need to really try hard and give give it all you know give it all okay so once you already found your host family um, ask every single question you have in your interviews every single question you have don't leave any question to ask please ask everything and be sure that you want to match with them once you want to match with them if they are not as sure as you are I would really recommend doing a press presentation I will leave the link down below to my blog I have it there it always works I tell you it always works okay guys so this is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed this video if you're in rematch I wish you the best of luck you're gonna find an amazing family I'm sure you will and if you are just thinking about rematch and you are not sure if you should go in rematch or not talk with your other director and if not send me a message or write me a comment down below or just communicate with me in any kind of social media that I have and yeah I will answer you as fast as I can and as well as I can to to try to help you out as I said I will leave the press presentation link down below so you can check it out it always works if you send that to a host family they are going to choose you so yeah this is it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more videos like this one and I hope to see you in my next one bye